Good morning. I am making this video today to take you through our summer jumpstart program for grade nines going into grade 10. I'm not going to go through a big explanation as to what this initiative is. This video is for the students who have decided to do this this summer to gain six early credits towards high school completion and to earn a Chromebook provided by our school district. So I'm on the main page for our Jumpstart website. We can go through these up here. They're sequenced. So if you go through them in the order that they're presented, it is the chronology of a course completion. So when we click on the information tab, we've got the information about what you need to do in order to receive your Chromebook at the end of this and some information about registration and then a bit of an introduction to myself. I'll be teaching this course and just a few more questions that are commonly asked questions about this. And I'm going to leave this for you to explore on your own time. I think most of your questions will be answered here. And certainly if they're not, you are welcome to send me an email. I'm trying to, as best I can, make this a self-serve type course for you so that you can access the things you need when you need them and not have to wait for me to receive an email and get a chance to respond to you. So this is our website, our basic information, and then when we do our kickoff Google Meet, I've got the slides posted here that I will be going through so you can take a copy of those if you'd like so that you can write on them or you can just follow along using them, but those are embedded on our website here. The reason there's a link to the presentation is just for those people who join us in our information kickoff who have maybe not already accessed the website. Then we've got something called task-based. There are nine possible courses that you can take. Six of them are task-based and three of them are project-based. So our task-based course choices are shown on this screen along with the tasks or assignments or topics that will be covered in those. Now I do want to make mention that when you see a longer list of tasks, that doesn't mean in any fashion that that course is going to take you longer to complete than one that's got shorter lists. These ones have more that you need to do inside of each one as compared to these ones. So it's going to take you approximately the same amount of time for each course, and each course is going to give you one credit toward your high school graduation. You know that you need 100 credits to graduate, and this is an opportunity to jumpstart your high school career with six credits before you ever set foot into grade 10. Now I do want to make one point here, and that's that if you don't complete all six courses, you will receive high school credits for as many courses as you completed. You just won't receive a Chromebook at the end of it. If you wish to receive a Chromebook, you're going to need to complete all six of them. So these are your choices for the task-based course types. Then we've got three project-based courses. And of course, you see when you look at these that you do have a number of things you have to do in each one. And we could certainly, we could call them tasks. For these ones, all of the tasks that you are doing fall underneath the umbrella of a larger project. And at the end of each one, when you get to the wrap ups, you're going to be asked to submit a larger document, website, slide deck, project, whatever the particular course is asking you for. So on our task-based ones, at the end of each task, so at the end of Docs Part 1, you hand something in. At the end of Drive, you hand something in. At the end of Sheets, you hand something in. And your Google Classroom will give you specific instructions about it. For the project-based stuff, you might hand something in along the way if you're instructed to. If you're not instructed to on each of these little task designations, then you will be submitting it at the end in the wrap-ups. The biggest difference is that these project-based courses follow one bigger theme. So how do you register for this? Well, we've got a tab here with the registration form. Right now, it's not open for registration. Your school will let you know when we open for registrations. That'll probably be late in May or early June. I have not set the actual date 
quite yet. Once you register, you're going to receive an email that outlines for you which six classes that you selected. And then I will be emailing you the Google Classroom access codes once we have closed the registration time. And that'll allow you to log into Google Classroom and get started. As soon as you have those codes in your possession, you may begin your jump start of high school. Then I've got the calendar built in right now. There won't be much on the calendar. But I will schedule a handful of Google Meets through the late part of June and a couple even into July so that if you have questions or pressing needs, you can look and see when we're going to have a group meet and you are welcome to log on and I will meet with you, talk you through some things. If you're up against some challenges, that'll be our chance to meet face to face and I will vary the times and the days a little bit. I am also going to be attending school this summer. So those designated Google Meets will be really important if you need my support because I'm going to have large chunks of my day tied up with my own academics as well. That said, I will be available to you. It's just going to have to be very deliberate and you will need to use the calendar to make those plans with me. Finally, I've got completing a course. When you complete one of your six courses, you're going to come back to our Jumpstart website. You're going to go on the link that says completing a course and I have a form there that I need you to fill out. So you're going to fill this form out six times and the reason you want to fill this in is it makes sure that your credits get entered into your senior high school transcript. It's a safety net to make sure that nothing gets lost in the self-directed nature of this course. It's a notification for me that you have for sure completed something and you are ready for me to take a look at it and you're ready for me to log your credits into your high school transcript as soon as I've had a chance to take a look at your work. The form looks like this. You'll come in and you will click which school you attend and you're going to find a list of all of our high schools in Chinook's Edge. When you click on that, it's going to take you to a list of students and you will find your name in the list of students. And then finally, it's going to take you to a screen that asks you to select the course that you've just completed. So there's the nine. You'll check off whichever one is the one that you are now done. And then you're going to upload a screenshot for me. And what I want is a screenshot from the final task, something that shows me proof that it's done. In some instances, that's going to be the notification that you get from the Google Forms quiz when you're done that says this is done and submitted. Sometimes it's going to be a picture of Google Classroom that shows that you've submitted something and you've attached the file to it. This is going to drop this into a spreadsheet for me and I will know who has some completed work that I need to take a look at. I am preparing to have hundreds of students in these courses this summer. We are going to open it up to every grade 9 entering grade 10 in all of Chinook's Edge. And so I have to be very, very organized in order to manage the volumes of data that I'm going to be swimming in this summer. And I'm eager to be swimming in all of your data and all of your completed assignments. I'm just going to need your help to ensure that I know when you've got something ready for me to be investing some time in. The other thing this does is it makes you look at your submission to verify that you have attached the thing that you need to attach when you submit your final project. If you were in Information Processing 1060, which is plan a budget in Google Sheets, that's a project and at the end of the project I need you to submit that budget. But sometimes it can be easy to forget to put the attachment onto the assignment so when you take that screenshot, part of the purpose of taking that screenshot is that you look at your screen to make sure that everything you need to have attached is actually attached there. So that kind of takes us through our Jumpstart course. So we've got our website, we've got the information and kind of the FAQs. There is this Jumpstart handbook as well, and that's a printable that kind of takes you through those descriptions for each of the course. So here's your table of contents and those are hyperlinked. You can see I've used slides to do this. And so if I were wanting to take a look at the STEAM skills content, I can just click on it and there it is. If you wish to print this off, it is sized to be a piece of paper. 
So if I go into the page setup, we can just verify that that's eight and a half by 11. So it's going to print perfectly on a piece of paper. So you can have it, you can staple it like a notebook and you could make some notes on the pages as you're making your selection. One thing I wanna point out, if you choose the mindful digital habits one, you need to start it right away because part of that project involves tracking your digital habits. And so you just, you don't wanna leave this one to be your sixth course. This is gonna have a number of days where you're not doing a lot of the work other than just the tracking. So you wanna get this one started and then put your attention onto one of the other courses while you're just over the course of the 10 days tracking your own digital habits to establish the trends in order to be able to analyze your digital balance and your own digital habits. The plan and promote an event project-based course requires a partner. I am going to be assigning those partners randomly. So I'm gonna use a digital generator. I'm gonna put the names of all students into a spreadsheet, and then I'm gonna use a random generator that is going to assign you a partner. So you're probably going to end up with somebody you may not have met before and might even be somebody who attends a different school. So this is an opportunity for you to make a new friend or a new connection in a different town and expand your horizons a little bit. So for some that can be quite exciting, for others that might be very intimidating and if that falls outside of your comfort zone, I would suggest that this might not be a course then that you want to take. The others are all individual. You don't need a partner for them. And the course listing here shows you just real quick task project based as well. So I think that takes us through all of the resources. Of course, once you are registered and you've got your course codes, you will have access into the classes that you're taking. And for the task based courses, you don't necessarily have to do them in the sequence that they fall on the screen though I do think that the progression will make better sense than if you skip around. And if you go in the sequence, you're less likely to miss something that you have to go back to. That said, nobody's gonna force you to do it in order. If you don't do it in order, you're taking on the responsibility of ensuring that everything you need to have submitted gets submitted. For the project-based courses, and I can't show you all of these because I'm, I'm using a student lens view here and I've only enrolled my fake student into one course. If you are in a project-based course, those ones need to go in the order that they appear on the screen. When you reach the end of one of the courses, it is gonna ask you when you submit, it's gonna say something just like this. Submit your completed scavenger hunt here. Once you have done so, please take a screenshot and submit that screenshot in the section titled Course Completion Notification. Immediately below, we have the Course Completion Notification. You're gonna click on this. You'll notice it's got the little camera icon. So there's a Google form right there, and that's the one that we've already taken a look at, where when you complete a course, you choose your school, you choose your name, you choose which course you completed, and then you upload that screenshot for me that we saw requested in the very last part of this course. So, start on our website, take a look through the courses, do your registration, watch for the emails that will give you those course codes to get into Google Classroom. As soon as you've got those class codes, go ahead and start your courses Access this calendar. Google Classroom is wonderful as we have deadlines coming up. I will input those into Google Classroom and they are gonna show up on our calendar here. Right now we are in April, so there's nothing on the calendar because Jumpstart hasn't started yet. But when we get into June and July, you will see some stuff on this calendar and it is here for your benefit. And when you complete a course, you're gonna come in and you're gonna fill out this form for me. It will be located in Google Classroom and it's located here so you can find it in either area and this is going to ensure that I don't miss logging your credits and making sure you receive your Google certificates. So that's the basic how-to for our Jumpstart High School program. The last thing I want to say is I will be so excited to come out to your school in September and deliver a Chromebook to you. 
At this point in time, I can't tell you exactly what Chromebook it's going to be. We've experienced lots of challenges in the last couple of years with the supply chain and logistics challenges that the global pandemic has created. But I will tell you that the students who were part of the pilot last year were very, very happy with the Chromebooks they received. So if you lobby the question, what kind of Chromebook will it be? We won't have an answer for that until I am coming to your school with the Chromebook, with your name attached to the sticky on the outside of the box. So I look forward to meeting you this summer. I look forward to helping you jumpstart your high school career so that when you walk in the door of your high school this September, you have a jump start toward your graduation. And I look forward to handing you a Chromebook to start your high school careers. This is gonna be so fun. Thanks for watching.